Okay, so let's let's talk about uh, a little bit about Kudo and and Kudos as well. So we started the preparation for the token launch about roughly about this time last year. Um, what was the what was the reason for for the pause? Yeah, sure. So we started. Um, well, we put together the team, the development team in 2017, um, and since then we've been building the platform to make this possible, both in traditional compute and also in blockchain. So we realized last year, actually, what we want to do is to launch this token uh, and then quickly after have real use of that network yeah. rather than wait another six, 12 months. You know, we want real utility pretty much from the start. So what we've been doing is been, been busy, really busy building, um, building the network. Uh, we've, uh, from a network perspective, we've probably got about 20,000 nodes globally. Uh, yeah. It's in about 140 countries. Um, and we've also been growing the validator network as well. So this is really high quality validator providers, staking providers um, that are giving us solid 24 seven um, quality infrastructure and also working with data center providers as well to provide the exactly the same. So the idea is that the network can then run on anybody's infrastructure. It can run on validators that are all secure um, or it can run on, you know, down to your kind of your PC or your games machine. And then also we've been working really hard on partnerships. So, you know, we've got partnerships in different areas. We've got partnerships on the DAP side where people are building DAPs that are going to run on the network. Um, partnerships with service providers that are going to bring in lots of demand onto the network as well. So we've got providing services for AI, video rendering, um, but also data services, providing blockchain data services uh, as, a, as a Oracle. Um, and then also we've been working with white label partners who are bringing, bringing us huge amounts of supply into the network. So we've got partners like um, AMD that we're looking, well, there'll be announcements later in the year or possibly by the time this video comes out. Um, that one will give us a, we're looking at a few million devices. We've got other partners um, going live later in the year, again, doing the same. So the idea is that we actually, we wanted to build one of the world's largest compute networks mm -hmm. that we can then distribute this out to and have the technology and the business relationships in place. So okay. it was the right time was to let's wait a year, yeah. get all of this in place. Um, and then really we can hit the ground running so, when it goes. So uh, the, the theme is definitely the timing and the timing is, is much better now than uh, previously. And, and, you know, presumably maybe COVID and the, the pandemic had a bit of an impact on the market and, and the timing yeah. that as well. Yeah, that was post um, mm -hmm. when we were originally putting this plan together. Uh, but as it happens, you know, the team has all now gone remotely. Being a tech company, you know, it's, not, it's not that difficult to go remote. But what that's also done is it's made it easier for us to actually hire really, really good additional people into the team. Because previously, you know, we're based in the UK. Most of the team were local. Um, but now we're managing to pick up kind of the best people in the space around the world that are joining the team. So Brilliant. it's actually for us been a benefit and kind of forced us to become more decentralized which we should be as a business like this yeah sometimes these things happen for a reason right yeah so what's the what's the what's the current plans for for the token um so we have literally just launched our private sale um we're making it a very limited private sale because we've done a huge amount of development the network's pretty much ready to go you know we, we've done a lot of the groundwork that we've been working on for the last few years um so we're doing a, a really limited uh private sale mainly to strategic investors um, and then over the next few months, uh, we'll be actually doing the public sale and we'll be um, making that available kind of online with some uh, exchanges or other providers that we'll be able to announce soon. That's a short window. What we're also working on is um, we'll have either around the time it becomes probably available, um, actually it probably will be around that time, then we'll have our test net as well so that people can actually test some of the first DAP partners that we're working with and they'll be either data providers or, um, you know, where you want to do some analysis of information and pass it back to a smart contract. Um, and then also uh, we are going to be going live initially on Ethereum and we're working with another one of the major blockchains as well. Um, and we'll be going live on there so that we can basically reduce the cost of compute um, in smart contracts, uh, enable data feeds and API feeds into other platforms, um, payment platforms, things like that. Um, and also for blockchains that aren't Turing complete, then actually we can bring Turing complete yeah. workloads straight to those networks. Fantastic. Sounds really smart. Thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, I will think in the, uh, maybe in the next video we can talk about the vision and get to know a bit more about the story, yourself, the background and you know, what the overall big picture vision is. Okay, great. Perfect. Thanks.